welcome to part two of our health um, system tutorial. Uh, when we left off last, uh, what we had done is we had created a simple AI uh, methodology so that on C pawn, it casts to the first person character, then what it's going to do is move towards us, moves itself towards us. When it sees us, it explodes and destroys itself. However, none of this is actually doing any damage to our character, and part of that is our character actually doesn't even have a health system to absorb any damage. So what I'm going to do is uh, come in and find the blueprints that is the first person character that I actually play as. If I double click that and open this inside of uh, our blueprint editor, um, then you can see the kind of uh, large system that's built uh, for the first person that's shooting the projectiles in one place, checking to see if we have uh, VR headsets in another. Um, health, uh, for the most part, is just a number. So I'm going to create this number as a variable. I'm going to call it health. Uh, and I'm going to change this into an integer since we don't want to have 43 and a half health. We'll just use a number uh, with a, a whole numbers, uh, round numbers. Um, so with this set up, um, then we can uh, we can't actually set an initial value until we compile. But once we compile, we can come down into the health and tell this that I want its initial value to be 100. Now, just because it has health doesn't mean we're actually doing anything with it. So what I'm going to do is over here in the construction script. I'm going to build a new construction script. It's going to be a function that other uh, uh, blueprints can talk to. So I'll create this function that I'm going to call do damage. Now with this do damage, uh, I can come over here and I'm going to tell it that I want it to have an input that is going to be called damage amount. Uh, and this is what's going to be passed to this function by other blueprints um, so that it can um, actually um, do the work. Once I've got this set up, now I need to start uh, getting and setting the health. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get whatever the health is to begin with. So we'll get the health. From this health, I want to subtract a number. So I'm going to subtract an integer. Particularly, the integer that I want to subtract from it is whatever the damage amount is that will be uh, that is passed into this uh, into this function. So it'll take the health, it will subtract whatever that damage amount is, and then that will become the new health value. So I'll use the set health. Now, if we want to be able to see how this works in the game to do a little bit of testing, um, what I can start to do is make a, let's just make a print string here, uh, that uh, on this health value, what I'll have it do is actually pass to it um, what our health is. Um, so. Uh, once I've got that, I could actually, here, let's take this and we'll plug it right in like that as well. So this is just a little convergent, uh, convert node, so it's converting that uh, integer into a string, so we see what's happening there. Okay, so when do damage is fired, it gets the value of the health, subtracts the damage amount that is passed, that sets as the new health, and then it's going to send out this print string, um, so we see what's, what's happening. Now, we can also do some other kinds of things, so uh, for instance, um, after it prints whatever our health is, um, let's uh, create a branch to check if something is true. Um, so I always type in if because that's what a branch is really doing is checking an if, uh, an if statement. Um, what this is doing here is uh, we could build it off of here, but let's make a new branch of stuff down here. So what I'm going to do is tell it to go get the value of health, whatever it is at this point. I want to uh, check to see if it is less than or equal to a particular value, integer, and the value of course is zero. If it's less than zero, then this becomes true, and so here we can put a new print node, uh, print string out here that says, you're dead. All right, so we've got that set up, so I can compile and save that. Now, this do damage node that we've got built here is great, but it's, it doesn't do anything uh, until somebody actually talks to it. Um, so what we want to start to do now is make sure that other things talk to it, namely our zombie AI uh, is able to talk to this thing. So uh, make sure I've got all that. I'm going to come back to, the, to our zombie AI. So as it's moving, it's spawning this emitter to the location. Before it destroys itself, I'm going to have it do a little bit of work. Namely, I'm going to have it go out and actually um, uh, talk to um, my uh, th that do damage. So what I'm going to do is come off from the first person and here I want it to, on that first person blueprint, I want it to find do damage. So you can see that it's right there that we've built it. I'm going to make sure and slide this over here so that we're set here and then I'm just going to tie this up here. Uh, 
let's make sure that this comes in there and this goes in there so that it does it. So what happens is when it spawns the emitter of the explosion, it's going to fire the do damage that is actually on our first person character blueprint. Uh, and then it will destroy itself. We've got to also tell it how much damage it's going to do. So let's say that it's going to do uh, oh, 30 damage uh, when it gets close enough to, to blow things up. So let's go ahead and compile and save. And what will happen now is that when we fire this, when it comes up, it plays and it exploded. However, we're not seeing the print screen. So let's see what we got wrong here. Uh, so we're doing the damage. Oh yeah, we've got to tie those together. So when it fires do damage, it actually does the work of the of the uh, of setting the new health value. Okay, so let's come back here, take a look. So when this comes does the damage, you can see that our new value of 40 was up there in the top left hand corner. Um, so we knew that it um, that it indeed hurt us. Right, did did real damage. Okay, so that's the basic of the of the health here. Let's uh, just for giggles and kicks, let's go ahead and set up a bunch of these um, so that they can all do a bunch of damage to us. Um, so let's put one over here. Let's put another one over here. You rotate that around. Let's put another one over here um, so that we get kind of attacked from all sides. So look in the top left hand corner, so that one hit me, 40, that one hit me, that one hit me. Now I'm in at negative values and every time it hits me it will say you're dead and then show the new negative value. Alright, in the next one we'll look at how to make it so that I can shoot these zombies before they blow me up.